Page 55. Listening for main ideas. A. Close your book. Listen to the lecture and take notes. Hello, everyone. Is everyone here? Well, let's get started. We were talking last time about the possibility of other intelligent life in the universe. So that's where I want to pick up today. Today we'll look at the SETI project. That's the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This is a project to look for signs of intelligent life on other planets in the universe. So, first, why do we think there may be other intelligent life in the universe? Well, it's because there are many, many other galaxies in the universe that could support life. We on Earth, we are one planet going around one star. But our galaxy has approximately 400 billion other stars, stars that may have other planets where intelligent beings could live. And throughout the universe, there are at least 100 billion, that's 100 billion other galaxies. So most scientists think that somewhere in these 100 billion galaxies, there must be other planets that are similar to our Earth, and that at least one of those planets has other intelligent beings. We just have to locate them. Now, how does the SETI project search for life? The SETI project searches for life using large radio telescopes. These radio telescopes search for radio signals in space. They are looking for signals that could be from other intelligent beings. We hope that somewhere there are intelligent beings who are looking for us, who are sending out a signal. Perhaps they are asking the same questions we ask. Are we alone? Is there anyone else out there? Now, in my opinion, this is some of the most exciting scientific research being done today. Why? Why is it so exciting? Well, I think that locating other intelligent life, if and when this happens, will completely change how we think about ourselves and about the universe. Just imagine, knowing that there are other beings out there, that we are not alone. So I think this is one of the most interesting areas to investigate. So the SETI project tries to locate intelligent beings in the universe by searching for radio signals from space. But why radio signals? Well, there are two reasons radio signals are better. First, they travel very quickly. Second, they have a long range. They can go very far into space. So how fast do radio signals travel? Well, they travel very quickly, at the speed of light. So, for example, the nearest galaxy, Alpha Centauri, is approximately 4.2 light years away. Traveling at the speed of light, it takes four years for a radio signal to reach us. On the other hand, the fastest rocket only travels about 10 miles per second. At that speed, it would take 60,000 years to reach the Alpha Centauri galaxy. So, radio signals are definitely faster. Now, what is the range of radio signals? Well, they have a very long range. They could travel through several galaxies to reach Earth. Radio signals can also travel through space dust and other things floating around in space. So if any intelligent beings in other galaxies are sending radio signals, there's a good chance that the signals can reach Earth. I see a question. Yes. Why don't we just send rockets to look for intelligent life? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Well, for one thing, they're much slower. Unlike radio signals, rockets can't travel at the speed of light. Also, they don't have a very wide range. In addition, you're restricted to looking in one direction. You point the rocket in one direction and go that way. But we can search for radio signals in every part of the universe, not restricting ourselves to one direction. So overall, you can see why searching for radio signals is better. Okay, so that's all for today. Next time, we'll talk more about this and talk about what we will do when we hear a signal. A very important question. 
So think about that. What should we do when we hear a signal from another intelligent being? Until then, have a good week. I'll see you next time. Page 56. Listening for details. A. Close your book. Listen to the lecture again. Add details to your notes and correct any mistakes.